Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about no more narcissist. Okay. And there is something to know. There is an energy that is sweeping through to make people more aware and actually help them pivot back to themselves. But let's let our primetime players tell it. You know, you're a real narcissist. I just really can't get over how nothing ever, ever works with you. You just never seem to have anything for me. You're just not a man who can like, oh, take it easy. What are you PMSing now? Oh, that's right. Blame it on my PMS right on the brink of the International Day of the Woman. Why can't you ever think of anything else? I've got something to say to you. You have to understand the way you are, my dear. A predator's a predator, and that's you, my dear. You'll never be my twin, and that's so clear, my dear. So I do what I can, and I'm through, and I'm through with you. Bye, bye, you narcissist, you lousy narcissist. It was a fine affair, but now it's over. I thought you used to care. I need the open air. I always said that I am a lover. Bye, bye, you narcissist. You crazy narcissist, you tried to trap me, but I'm a lover. I need somebody else, a real love affair, with fun and play and romance, bye-bye. So, take the hint that in this energy, a lot of people should be kind of having that awareness. I would even call it a wake-up call that it's not just the narc. But maybe the person you really thought it was for years and years and months and days and you've wasted time, energy, effort, money. They are not afraid of love. They are not the one. The things you do benefit you. It's time to put the focus on yourself. It's time to make you better. It's time to get rid of the ill effects and the pain points caused by those people that have been trying to suck the life out of you quite literally. I know that there's sometimes things said about, you know, like, well, your twin's afraid of love. There's no such thing. Okay. People that are in love rush headlong into it. Kind of just the way you did. There's not really someone who runs away from it when it's real, when it's real. If it is just something that you've believed for a while, your soul, your real soul connections is are going to move you along. Now, moving along does not necessarily integrate you. It gets you away from the dangers of being with the wrong person and having it go south so badly that you're going to wish that you never got involved. This is sometimes happening in marriages or relationships or long-term relationships. It's happening in those near misses where people are engaged to be married and they decide to call it off because they're recognizing that something just isn't right, just isn't there or whatever. So how do you do this really? Well, you have to do it in a twofold way. It has to be done where you are healing from it. You're healing all the ill effects of whatever your downfall was. You have to address your symptoms, which are sometimes your pain points, the areas on your body that need to open for you to elevate. These are frequently hips, shoulders, gut, respiratory system, and especially the heart. And while you're going through it, you can feel a downward pressure or ache on your body. I know how to alleviate that. I have a highly recommended session for doing this. Now, some of this is not going to cause deep trauma, but what if it veers into abuse? 
like actual real abuse and being taken advantage of. And those should be like little warning shots inside you. Hey, I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. Hey, I feel like I'm being exploited. Hey, I feel like all of my efforts aren't getting me anywhere. It's good to recognize these things. It's even better to be proactive about it. Subsequent activations will only occur through active integration of your light body. Okay. How do you do this? Well, there is a, a modality that I've created to in order to help you with this. Okay. So what we call a narcissist, if you really bottom line it, Sometimes it's a person who's just looking out for themselves. We talk about this stuff like it's a deep psycholo psychological issue. But if you were to take someone who truly isn't the one, truly isn't, you know, there's somebody, they catalyzed something, they paid their karmic debt, which is frequently the case. That person is paying a karmic debt that they owe you. But they don't owe you a life. They don't owe you a living. You don't owe them a living. You don't owe them your life anymore. Pay attention to that. <clears throat> you're not going to be able to talk yourself out of what your soul is prodding you along to do. June is a big pivot point. So is September, the next equinox. But we're at this equinox. We're racing into this equinox right now. And it's time for, you know, all of the things that have hindered people, hindered their growth, hindered their freedom, kept them trapped. Why do people want to be trapped, right? Like, there's really no safety or security in it because you're not getting what you need. So how do you, how else do you know? <coughs> Their actions are speaking louder than their words. They may say something or you may say something to them. They're kind of neck middle, but their actions are speaking volumes, volumes. You're saying to yourself, if this were another relationship, I would run like the wind. Please pay attention to yourself. Don't keep tolerating and tolerating and tolerating. You're not here to be yet a martyr again. There's no glory in that for you. You're here to be a lover, a real lover, and be loved and touched. <coughs> you might feel that you're suffering some kind of post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, all of these do <clears throat> influence the parts of you, too. So, just going to say this. You are here to ascend you're here to be real. You're here to be with a real person because that's something some other people say. Like, well, you must have imagined it. No, you didn't. No, you're not crazy. You know what you felt. You're just applying it to the wrong direction, the wrong person, the wrong situation, the wrong relationship, or no relationship. You're trying to apply something where there's absolutely no relationship. This can make you sick. Unrequited love makes people sick. Your heart is an important organ. I won't say it's the biggest organ because your skin is the biggest organ, but your heart is critical. Your heart is not going to be just given to just anyone, and anyone who it isn't can cause heart pain to you one way or another. You either feel like wah, wah, or you feel like there's sharp pains or stress pains or pressure. Let's get rid of all that pressure because love should be calm and relaxing and uplifting. And it's just hasn't been for a lot of people. So please know that I'm here to help. I'm here to help you get to your next steps to get through your twin flame ascension journey to address your symptoms. If you have unaddressed symptoms, and you may not know what those are, but if it's uncomfortable and painful, please let me be the intuitive for you and help you distill this down, focus, and give you some instructions on what you can do to get better and to get back on track. Thanks so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.